Marcus Licinius Crassus, the man who symbolizes the way in which civilizations are corrupted. He defined the statecraft built on the economics of apartheid. Crassus came from humble beginnings. He rose to power by helping to smooth the transition from the Republic of the people to the Empire of the Caesars. He then used that power to become a land speculator. He made his fortune out of the location rents of the city of Rome. When Spartacus led the revolt of the slaves, it was Crassus who led the Roman army to victory, and he was not merciful. On the Apian Way, 6,000 slaves were crucified. Things allowed instantly. Move on. Yes. This is your son. He's free, Spartacus. Free. He's free. According to Pliny the historian, Crassus became the richest man in the Roman Empire. In fact, he amassed so much wealth, he was the Bill Gates of his time. It was the way in which he made his money that reveals how culture can be corrupted. A power that has the might to undermine a civilization like the Roman Empire. Two thousand years ago, people thought the world was flat, but they also knew that some locations had higher land values than others. Living standards in Rome were nearly twice as high as in France and Greece, and more than double those of tribes on the margins of the empire. After deducting subsistence, the wages, the remaining incomes were the rents coveted by the Caesars. In Italy, peasants were driven from the countryside, their farms appropriated by the aristocracy. The peasants crowded into urban tenements. When their properties caught fire, Crassus turned up to buy the buildings at rock-bottom prices. By this means, he became the owner of the largest property portfolio in the Roman Empire. The empire grew by grabbing land that belonged to other people. The legions conquered territories all the way to the shores of England. But it was an empire built on rotten foundations. Poverty, bread and circuses, was the fate of the landless peasants. The Caesars enjoyed their glory days, but one day the empire would collapse when the barbarians came knocking at the gate.